Hello everyone, Joel Tooth here again. Today we are in Carillon Park, Dayton, Ohio. We're going to do some train rides here. Get ready to get on the train. Let's start off with that and we'll look at some more model trains and other garden railway things. Start the video, son. Here we go. All kinds of live action over there. That's pretty cool. All right, we're getting ready to take off. Just boarded the train. Took about 15 minutes to get on. And here we go. Look at this railroad yard here. It's awesome. Interesting looking engine house. up there in a little bit. I've been up every floor, it's got a great view.
Oh, here comes a little Shea locomotive. This is a real steam engine here. Look at that. folks that was a good one nice little five minute ride there pretty awesome definitely recommend it let's go see what else they got here oh by the way here's the locomotive let's have a look at that there it is all right let's check out this tent over here it says hot let's see how hot it is in here here we go. Check that out. There you go. Oh, but wait, there's more. Check out this level crossing here. Two track crossing, and we got a train coming. All right, here we go, folks. Wow, that was a good one. Let's go up here on this tower, check that out, see what kind of view we got from up there. That's a very historical clock tower. You should check that out. Do some research on that. Look it up on Google. This is a really cool one. I'll, I'll show some close-ups of the name of it and we'll get some views from up there. Okay, here we are at the Brethren Tower. And just pause on any of this if you want to read it it's pretty interesting I've read the whole thing all right let's look at this side here just pause on any of this and read it at your leisure Let's go up on top. There's that little steam engine down there. I gotta get a closer shot of that. That is really cool. But I was wanting to have a look at what they're doing here. Looks like they're putting some more track in. I'm gonna have to find out what's going on. Got a new bridge and everything. Look at that. You got a big stack of railroad ties right there. We got a major railroad installation going on here. Can't wait to find out what, that, what that's all about. Well, I made it up to the top of the tower and worked up a sweat doing it. It's about 90 degrees or so. Got some rules here I'll have to keep advised of. And there's the trains way down there. 
That's the one I just rode. And I found out that they're putting in three foot gauge track. You can see the rail. They've got the rail and ties down there. You can see the right of way. So it's gonna be a three foot gauge track. Something else I like about this tower, you can see right through the grating, all the way down to the bottom. Look at that. Uh, if I can get that train. You can see all the way down to the bottom. And we've got the Norfolk Southern line that goes from Dayton to Cincinnati, right over there. Sure would like to see a train go across that. That would take some luck. We're going to go over in that building here in a minute and check out that old steam locomotive that they've got on display there. Real old small steam locomotive inside that building. Got to see that. Check out this view looking straight down here. This is cool. Look at that. Yeah, see it is. That's awesome looking. Yeah. Pretty good. Let's see what we can see on this side here. Now, the video I put up uh, recently that I filmed a couple years ago from up here, there was a tunnel somewhere in that area. And they're redoing everything right now. So the tunnel will come back when they're done putting down the new three foot gauge track. But wait, there's more. Coming around one of the sharpest curves and up a slight grade. Here we go. Here's a look at a left-hand turnout. Check that out. You can see the lever right there in front. Switch the tracks. That's pretty cool. And then it's got the guardrails in the middle of the track. You know, that's to catch the wheels in case the train came off the tracks. That would catch the wheels, keep it on the, the track itself. There they go, way over there. And here's a right hand turnout. Now this track is out of service. They're completely redoing um, the layout and they're putting in three foot gauge track. That should be done around December of this year. Here's something really interesting. This is the John Quincy Adams steam locomotive, Baltimore, Ohio Railroad number one. It's the oldest existing locomotive that was manufactured in the United States. And it's right there. Built in 1835. Wow, is that awesome or what? We got some coal trains going around it. Let's catch up to this one here. Got a coal train with a DPU. Uh, it's not this one. This one here's the steam train, though. It's even cooler. Let's check it out. Why are the Two trains going fast. Yeah. Got a caboose on that one, and we got a DPU on this one over here. Working hard, too. Listen to that. Got some coal coming out of West Virginia here. He shows scale. 
That was pretty cool. There you go. Here's some smaller trains over here. There you go, the diamond and then a, a little cruder right there. Look at that. That is cool. Engage track. Wow, those buildings look nice. Here we are, we're out west, and we've got a steam train coming through. Look at this. Wow, that's nice looking. Runs nice and smooth too. There you go. I found where the old tunnel was at. Last time I was here, I rode the train through that tunnel. It's closed right now because they're doing construction. The tracks are actually still there. If you look close, you can see some rails sticking up. Pretty heavily rusted. Goes around this way. There's still track right there. It's got weeds on it and rails are heavily rusted over, but it's still there. It'll be restored once I get the construction done here putting in a three-foot gauge line up here. You can see some of the rail. Let's have a closer look here. Oh, wow, it's gonna go a long ways, too. They're putting in a lot of track. Look at this. There's the right-of-way, and the rail is right here. That's what I need. I need a three-foot gauge line on my farm. Haul some firewood out of the woods and haul dirt and stuff. Cool. Here's a close up of the rail here, folks. It says ASCE on the left, then SWV in the middle, 60 pound rail uh, rolled May of 21. So there you go. <laughs> Found it. All right, let's don't overlook this canal right here. On the right is where the three foot gauge track is going to be. And then you've got the canal right here with the overflow on the right-hand side. And you can see where the gate would go in where that indentation is in the brick. And then you've got the lock tenders building right there. That is the actual lock tenders building that was brought in here and sat with this part of the, um, the Miami Erie Canal system. Here's how the locks work. Okay, we're on the upslope side here of the locks, and the railroad construction is on the left. And then you can see the narrow canal here on the right and the, the towpath over here. There you go, you got to see both sides of it. Hey, we've got a couple of speeders here also. Here's one, and we've got one over here. Let's have a look at this one. There's you another one. CP rail. Hey, I finally found that little Shea steam locomotive. Here it comes, they start running it again. Let's watch this thing go by. I bet that little engine's really hot sitting on that. It's a real steam engine right there. There she comes. Well, oh, I hope that Star Wars music doesn't get me. No copyright, please. Wow, that was cool. I'm gonna film it in another spot too because I'm afraid I might get a copyright on that Star Wars stuff. See, that track's gonna go right around this building right here. The three foot gauge track. Got the rail laying here. They've got most of the right of way already started. Look at that. Gonna be right next to the other tracks too. Then it's gonna go over the other tracks down that way. This will be really neat when it's done. Should be done somewhere around December of 2022. 
here she comes again. Here comes our steam train again. Wow, check out the old train station I just found here in Bowling Green. I didn't see that the last time I was here. Alrighty, I found some really cool trains inside the building over here. We got some steam trains too. Oh, here goes one right now. Let's catch up to it. Wow, that's cool. Look at all that smoke. That's awesome. Wow, that's a good one. I've seen one of these before. I've seen one of those before somewhere. I can't remember where. All right, we got both of them coming down the line at the same time here. Two steam trains. There you go, and they disappear into the tunnel. Here's part of the railroad right away. It's been coming right through here. Look at this. They're going right in front of the church. I'm going to go around this way. They're going to have somewhere around a mile or so of track. Listen to that locomotive. Here comes the steam train again. Okay, this is an out of service railroad crossing right here. I've got some videos of trains going across that from the last time I was here. That part of the line is temporarily out of service while they're reconstructing the track and installing the three foot gauge. Now this railroad crossing down here is pretty interesting. The engineer pushes a button on the train for the lights and pushes a button for the bell at this crossing when the train comes through. And then the conductor on the trains have conductors on the back. They'll push the button that turns these lights off. So I think that's pretty neat how these things work. Now we've got a train coming right now. The steam train again. Here we go. Well, 
I didn't turn the lights on for that one. I'm not sure why. Huh. Okay. No lights that time, but the longer train, when it went through, I got the lights and bell going. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have time, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel. Thanks for watching. It's time for Chessie and Norphy and the slideshow. Here we go. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? What's going on, doggies and cats and everything? Eric Bryson! Eric Bryson! There he goes. Hi, Bryson! <laughs>